everybody, and welcome back to another ranking list. Sorry, I can't come with any more ideas today. I was thinking of doing a review or something like that, but the problem is, was um, I didn't want to make any big noise, especially considering that I'm not home alone and whatever. Um, they were going to be ranking the the Team 2012 Archer series of Lego minifigures. Um, this was never released in the US, it was actually released in the UK. Um, so, you can only find this on eBay for uh, American, which should be, I'm an American, so I never get the opportunity to get any of these. And, let's go. Starting off the list is the runner. This minifigure, in my opinion, is extremely bland. But the only interesting piece for me is being that face print, and I guess what he's holding in his hand. But um, I just feel like I could have done so much more with him instead of his reusable to pieces. And even a hairpiece that's not really, um, that's not that unique. Next up, in my opinion, is the weightlifter. Now he requires the same color as the runner with pieces that we've already seen before in the past. That's the only, only one interesting part for me. And then it's that weight piece. And so because we've already gotten a runner before in the past. So it was very unique. Next up to me is the horseback rider. Now to me it's not impossible to fit a horse minifigure inside of a polar bag with this minifigure. That would make this minifigure better in my personal opinion, but um, she has a more interesting press in my personal opinion, which get which gives her a step over the previous two. Plus that new hat hair hair. Oh my god! Um that new head that new headpiece is incredible. I, I really like it. Next up, the, the Crime Master. This one is better than the Boy minifigure, in my personal opinion. That's because I think its prints and its design is more interesting. Where the older one had an extremely bland headpiece, which isn't used as much as it was back then. Which I think people can agree with me, and I'm glad Lego did it because it was a pretty bland uh, hairpiece. And yeah. Next up is the tennis player. Now, despite this one being a remake, I actually do love how clean this one looks. I like its printing and I like its, uh, its little tennis racket. And I think he makes a great companion or a team member or whatever to the previous one or recent one, I guess. I'm not sure. Next up is the swimmer. Now, I don't think he's better than the first one, but I do think that he makes a great companion or team member to one of to this one as well. Um, I do like that printing um, on his um, on his little um, thingy that uh, swimmers wear or whatever. And um, I do like a, his uh, chest piece. I think that's pretty useful. Um, I just like a lot of the printing. It's very useful. Next up is the gymnast. And um, this minifigure to me um, has some great printing all around. Um, this is not that great of a picture. And she's one of the only um, um, collectible minifigures out there that comes with like brick, brick pieces. And um, that's why she uses like the original gymnastics and all that. And I guess there's a better image despite not saying the entire because of uh, my recording and all that. But still, here's more um, inside, or no, not upside down. Um, yeah, she has great printing all around. Um, Really blonde hair piece. That's like my that's like my favorite hair piece ever, or if not one of my favorites. And it looks better than in blonde than in brown, in my opinion. It just looks a lot better. Um, just great printing all around. Really nice minifigure. Next up is the Archer. Now uh, I love this minifigure and this printing. Not that much printing, but still I like his accessory. One um, one hand is black and the other is just just has no glove. And um, I do like his face print, that's pretty useful with the little wink. And his hairpiece is a recolor of Superman's hairpiece in red. And I find that useful in case if someone wants to make like a present screw minifigure from Spaceballs. And that uh, hairpiece never gets reprinted, so that's pretty awesome too. Next up on the list is, um, well, at number one, I guess you should say, the best minifigure to me in the series is the Boxer. Now, he may not be as good as the Red Boxer from Series 5, but um, I still like the blue. Even though some people might say the blue looks better than the red. This guy is extremely expensive, going for 30 plus dollars. Which is pretty insane. 
is concerned that you can use the same face print, but I digress. Um, I like all the printing, I like the blue, and it looks really good, and this time he's actually wearing a shirt, unlike the previous one, he wasn't wearing a shirt. I'm not sure if this one comes with the bruised face like the last one, but um, I still like the printing. And there's even actually printing on the helmet, unlike the red one. So I really like this minifigure. Um, despite being a remake, he's one of the more unique minifigures of the series. But of course, that's just my opinion. Let me know your ranking of these minifigures in the comment section down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!